Hi folks, it's been a heck of a long time since I did a video. Uh, I retired last May and uh, I did loads of traveling all over the place. I went a bit mad really, because I had all this time that I'd never had before. So I went around Germany, saw Mark Hoffman in the summer, had a great time there. Didn't do much uh, flight footage because I was having so much of a good time, to be honest. Um, also got into uh, cycling and mountain biking. So I've been kind of around and about doing that. Um, got the flight van. I'll give you a tour of that in a second. So see what that's all about, but got to, uh, uh, put my bikes on the back as well so um, yeah so I'm out today in January just after Christmas and the sun's come out amazing we've had terrible weather in the UK it's been freezing cold raining every day it gets dark at half past three um, so yeah uh, sun's come out got a bit of blue sky and I've built a new plane during the Christmas period I've bought a He Wing T1 Ranger and I'm running it with uh, DJI um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, maybe if you're interested, I'll, I'll, I'll do a, like a bit of a rundown of the spec back in the workshop where it's warmer. It's too cold here. My fingers are already getting uh, cold. But yeah, so I put this together over the last couple of weeks. Um, reason why I built one of these planes? Well, two reasons, really. Uh, in the summer when I was with Mark Hoffman, he'd built one and he let me fly it. Uh, he had walk snail in his and uh, I just loved it. It was an amazing plane. So that was the first reason. The second reason is I've got into mountain biking. I've been to some amazing places. I'll put some pictures on the video to show you where I've been in Spain in the Pyrenees and um, took the AR Pro, but it's just too noisy to fly in some of those places. And uh, some of the places that you need to get to, you really can't get the vehicle there. So uh, what I thought was I can build a plane that I can dismantle and put in a backpack that I can still get some reasonable good flight footage from using, uh, in this case, DJI. I'm considering walks now. Um, and, and I can cycle up to these places in the mountains or inaccessible places, and the plane needs to be relatively quiet, and this is quite a quiet plane. So the T1 Ranger is, uh, is kind of what fit the bill. So today I'm going to maiden it. So I'll put it together quite quickly. I've got to thank um, Simon Berg because uh, his patience has been never ending with me asking hundreds of questions. And a lot of these 3D prints on here are all his work and designs. He's really a whiz with uh, 3D print design. So he's helped me a, a lot. So um, I'm absolutely guaranteed that uh, it's going to launch no problem and it's going to fly great because uh, if it doesn't, it's down to Simon. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's put this thing in the air and uh, see how we get on. I'm actually at the flying club today, but there's nobody here, so should be able to fly it in the goggles uh, without uh, too much problem. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's take a look inside the flight van. So I've got the uh, the pop top roof up there. So let's take a little look inside the flight van. Um, okay, so the most important thing, I guess, is probably the beer fridge. Uh, me and Mark Hoffman really tested that well in the summer. So just getting up into the van, we've got a few things here. So we've got a little basic cooker down here and uh, a little sink with a tap and uh, lots of storage inside the van. And obviously you can, you can stand up in here, which is really cool. Then I've got my little workbench area here and I've got the, uh, the Ranger just running through some set up on iNav on the Ranger here. Um, then in terms of the functions of the van, we've got in here, we've got the lights and we've got all the other functions for the tap and the controlling the power and checking the battery status. And then down here, we've got a diesel heater because I do intend to travel to some snowy places and cold places to fly. So yeah, that's the inside of the van. Uh, quite comfortable. Um, sleeps two upstairs and uh, also sleeps two downstairs uh, on that bench there that folds into a double bed and then loads of storage cupboards and things underneath. So just going around the, uh, the back of the van. So it's a, it's a traffic Sport Plus Renault. In here, got all my chairs and my bits and pieces. Uh, and obviously put my flight bag in here and everything. And in this little cupboard here, um, people that converted the van for me, put an XT60 in there and uh, I use that for uh, for charging. So I've got my charger in there charging. And on the roof, I'm not really going to be able to see this or not, but on the roof, if I try and stand up, there's a 180 watt solar panel in there and there's a 20 amp hour lithium ion leisure battery in the van for uh, charging the batteries and uh, yeah so this is the uh, this is the flight van I'm really happy with it it was uh, a present to myself when I retired 
last May. So uh, I'm going to really have a lot of fun and enjoy it. Okay, let's, uh, let's get it in the air. Oh, launches superbly. The sun's starting to go down now. Put my hood up. Absolutely freezing. Got my fingerless gloves on. Right, gone into loiter. Take it out of loiter. I don't know if my O3s, or well, those rolls are pretty fast. Let's put it back into return to home. And uh, just check to make sure it's recording. It says it's recording. And I've got it set to both, so. Well, I've got an element in the OSD there on the right hand side. Don't know what that is flashing. AX. Don't remember having anything there. All right, so I've got my loiter at 60 meters. It's holding pretty well, but quite a small loiter radius. All right, let's take it out of loiter. Let's just take, go, get off the sticks. It's off the sticks. Wow, it's pretty good. I put the elevons and the uh, the elevator level. Let's just do an auto level. Auto tune. Auto level. Auto level, auto tune. Do an auto tune. Oh, got it in angle. Okay. Forty percent expo. God, my hands are shaking already. Let's do a flyby. So quiet. White flower's great already. There's not much wind, but let's see if we can do a flyby again. But now the O3 will cope with all this light change. Oh, beautiful. Invert. Oh, I've still got auto tune on. Let's see how it flies inverted. Beautiful. Oh, it flies great. Now I know why Simon loves this plane. A low pass. So whisper quiet. Going to be able to go to great places with this. Put it in the backpack, get on the bike. See if we can get some of these rolls in shot. Come towards the, the camera. Oh, 
And my homemade lithium ion with 21700 molecules, again Simon Berg's recommendation, 96% left. Oh, what a great plane. All right, let's bring it into land because I'm freezing cold, freezing my nads off here. That's five minutes recording. That's enough for a maiden. Now Simon said you've got to bring these in pretty, pretty quickly because I might stall. I don't feel like it's going to stall, but oh, I've got them shaking so bad. My fingertips. God knows how Simon flies in minus 12. Beautiful landing. Really love this plane. Switch into sound position. Don't forget to save. Let's have a look. 124 kilometers an hour, fast enough. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, let's go in for a coffee. Absolutely freezing my balls off here. Oh, I'm assuming the, the recording on the air unit stopped when I disarmed. Right. So, maiden over, successful, great launch, flies lovely. Did an auto tune, not sure what it changed, so I'll check the feed forward. Um, beautifully made plane, small backpack. What can I say? Uh, another plane to add to my fleet that I really like. Oh, the other thing about you get these little flashing LEDs and you can change them by this little board inside and you can change so I've got I've got green and red flashing. So yeah. He wing T1 Ranger gets my thumbs up. What a great plane. I'm going to have loads of fun with this thing. Right, coffee time. Wow, really enjoyed that maiden. It was really cold at the field. My fingertips were numb, much warmer here back in the hobby room. So I'm not going to give you a review of this plane really, that's not really what I'm into, um, but just tell you what I've got here and what I kind of put into it. So this is the, um, the T1 Ranger, the PNP Pro version, and I went for this um, carbon fibre, optional carbon fibre boom, which I thought was quite a nice touch. Um, and going from the back to the front, I've got my little like Vifly uh, Lost Plane Finder buzzer here. Um, I'm running TBS Crossfire um, on the standard linear antenna, not the Immortal T, I don't think it will need it uh, for flying just close proximity. And then actually inside, um, I'll show you some close-up pictures of all of this, it'll be easier to see. I've got a, an F411, Maytek F411 WSE, and obviously a Crossfire Nano. And um, they're both mounted on this, this 3D mount here, which um, is uh, something I just put together. And three holes in the 3D mount uh, to allow you to access the buttons that control the LEDs on the wingtips. Um, in terms of the actual uh, battery, um, this is my first, or these two are my first two ever lithium ion packs. These are made with, um, I think they're P45B, I'll put a link and a picture, um, uh, 21700 molly cell. Um, and um, it was so much easier. Uh, I got one of these these little cheap um, spot welders, which works amazingly well. I think it was like forty pounds on Amazon. It was really really good fun and interesting to make. Uh, I'm going to make a lot more of these now. Um, so much cheaper than buying them as well. And and with the um, this cell being four thousand five hundred milliamp hours, and judging by the five or six minutes flight time on the Maiden, um, this thing's going to go for 25, 30 plus minutes. It's incredible. Uh, so moving forward to the front, um, I've got in here my, um, my DJI O3 Air unit and antenna on the top. Got a little isolation switch here that I use to allow me to have the plane powered but not have the air unit powered um, because sometimes you're you know, waiting for satellites or you're doing something on your laptop and you don't want the air unit getting hot. And then on the front, um, we've got this, uh, this is a, a Simon Berg uh, designed air scoop that just sucks a bit of air in there. And um, you won't be able to see it in here, but I'll put a picture on the side. I've got a, a, a little heat sink that I've bonded on top of the air unit using some thermal adhesive. 
So that should keep that really all nice and cool. And then um, on the hatch itself, we've got this, this rear exhaust. Um, so the air can flow in over the air unit through the fuselage and out the back. So yeah, this is again, uh, something that Simon's designed. All brilliant stuff, by the way. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the plane. Um, maybe I will, uh, I'll just show you now how the actual uh, LED board works. And um, yeah, then I think we'll be wrapping it up. Okay, I've dimmed the light, so I hope you can see this. So I've actually set it so that it's static colours, so I can just run through the colours. So there's three buttons. The button at the front controls um, how the lights are actually displayed, so they're static, pulsing, flashing, that kind of thing. And then the two separate ones control each individual LED on each wingtip. So if I just um, do this left-hand one, you see I'm just, I can just scroll through the colours now by clicking this micro switch, purple or cyan. Um, blue, dark blue, yellow and red and then back to green and then um, this front button allows you to change the, the kind of pattern so that's static and we've got flashing, faster flashing or we'll call it blinking and we've got this kind of pulsing and then this is the one I, I've, I've chosen, this kind of slower flash. Um, then you've got this one that rotates all the colours around like a rainbow. And then back to static. So that's the one I've chosen. So yeah, that little, I wanted to show that because it's, it's the first time I've had LEDs on a plane and it's a bit of a gimmick for me really, but yeah, it's quite a lot of fun. Okay, I think that's it. Um, can't wait to get back out flying again. Hopefully going to be going to Spain um, at the end of February and get some warm weather, get away from the UK for a while. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.